moon animation or an animation on uh, a micro mesh. So first we need to Google micro bit make code and we'll take the first link right here and we're going to do a new project. So we'll say new project. I'm just going to call this moon faces even though it's not exactly what I'm doing and say create. Okay, so here's my micro bit. Now it's only got 25 pixels, so you don't have a whole lot of room to work with. But your goal is to make a moon that moves, that shows the phases of the moon. I'm just going to show you how to move one pixel, and you can kind of figure out the rest. Now we don't necessarily need on start or forever because we want this to happen when we push a button. So I'm going to take on start and get rid of it, and forever and get rid of it, and I'm going to go for input. I like that a bit better, so on A. Now there's lots of other inputs you can choose, but I'm going to say on button A, which is this button here, and I need something to happen under basic, so I need an LED. Now I'm going to need a whole bunch of these, so what I'm going to do is right click on it and duplicate it, and I'll leave this one up here and I'll duplicate it when I need it. So I want an LED to move across the screen, I'm going to take a dot here, duplicate, a dot here, duplicate, a dot there, this is no surprise, this is drag this down, scroll down a bit, duplicate, drag here, duplicate, and this should be my last one. Okay, so now if I hit the A button, my dot moves across the screen. Now it only moves once and it stops, that's kind of annoying. So what I really need is a loop to make this happen more than once. So I'm going to take this loop over, I'm going to stick it inside here, take all my LEDs and stick them inside. Now I want it to happen more than four times, so let's just put in 50. Number's not super important. And I'll hit A, and now my dot keeps going across the screen. Now of course the moon is not a dot, so you're going to have to figure out some way of using these buttons here to animate your moon as it moves across the screen. And make sure you show the moon moves over 28 days. The lunar month is 28 days. So you're going to have to show quite a different different parts of the full phases, the crescents, the half, the fulls, the new moons, and there's lots of other ways of showing them. Uh, when you're all done, let Mr. Walter know, and I'll help you copy it over to an actual microdish.